me so like I told my wife like don't come back by 4 a.m. sleep on sleep tomorrow morning she's quite used to me not being at home early anyway okay uh, I like especially today uh, to say thank you to people who have traveled from outstation uh, Vivek and sisters hands up please they came all the way from Penang Uh, Vivek was with us, the blogging team during the Pramatang Kau, and he was a foot soldier. He went around giving us all the information. He travelled here for this function tonight, and he looks like he may have to travel back tonight again if the weather is uh, conducive. With the weather, otherwise. Uh, I've got a few MCs lined up for him and his sister. We are taking care of that. Uh, we'll go fishing up there. So this is Vivek, ladies and gentlemen. Raise your candles to him. Maybe you'd like to say a few words. Thank you. Sorry, my eyesight is bad. I cannot see properly at night. That's why I'm holding my candle. <laughs> Uh, I've been wanting to come here for the past few weeks. Unfortunately, things always crop up. And last week we had one in Penang. It was good. And I just wish you all can persuade some of your friends to come in here. Or if you cannot, just help organize things in your own housing area. You know, we hear a lot about internal and about security. You know, we all want security, right? So there are a lot of friends here. So when we have the same kind of virtuals in our housing area, definitely our friends from police will come too. And when they come, bugglers and crime people won't come. So we will have security. <laughs> what do you say to that? <laughs> so am I getting a commitment? Don't you cannot come here, your housing area, your towns. I dream of a day when every city and town holds their own candlelight virgils on the same day, at the same time. That would be good, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I see a professor of law amongst our midst. I don't know whether I could blow his cover. Can you say a few words? No one of the new professor, okay? It's a ponytail and everything, all right? We got a new meeting for the show. I'm gonna go back yeah, because the match is starting in a few minutes. <laughs> um, it's um, um, I'm sorry I couldn't join you earlier. I tried two weeks ago. Um, I was told it was nine o'clock, so I was very smart. I parked on the other side on Jalan Gasing because I thought then there would be less cars. I walk across the park and join all of you at 9 o'clock sharp in front of um, Angkor Mall. I was greeted by an empty road <laughs> and a few policemen who didn't know, you know, and I didn't know what was happening, so I was walking back and forth, back and forth. It was quite fun, but empty. Uh, last week I was in Penang, so this is my first time. I'm glad to make it this time. Uh, I will try to come as often as I possibly can. Um, in the future. The ISA is without a doubt a law which is so bad there can be no amendments. <laughs> there, there, it, there is no amendment that can improve it. It, it has to be repealed completely. And I think uh, I think uh, that's the direction um, that, that all of us uh, have to take. Um, in particular, those of us who are in the academic circles, in legal academic circles, our responsibility is to make sure our students realize that this law sucks and there's no excuse for it. And uh, we, have to, we have to help the practicing lawyers by developing a body of uh, philosophy and a body of law which says that, uh, a body of thinking which says that this has to go. And there, there, there's no two ways about it as far as I can see. Um, it's so good to see people out every week. Uh, it's extremely encouraging. And um, 
let's just let's keep it going. So to hell with I say. Very comfortable here. <laughs> and I'm not comfortable for to deliver my speech. So very high for my speech. Not very comfortable. But uh, anyway, thanks to Richard. No political speech. Huh? Huh? No political speech. I think he did. I said only one. I said political speech. No, no. You can't. 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 Thank you, Richard, for helping us to, uh, uh, to have it in our home ground. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, so I think I do not need to say to deliver a long speech. Uh, I actually put it forward. Uh, tomorrow morning, I will be uh, going to PJ Police Station to check if there's any chance to get us to the door. Uh, we were in the gathering. We were arrested here. Uh, some of us have injured police facility. We were brought to the uh, IPD, police, PJ Police IPD. We were released only about seven and a half hours later. Uh, I, I rushed to the University of Leia Hospital and to have a medical checkup. Uh, everything is quite okay. And uh, two weeks, tomorrow will be, tomorrow uh, I will be going back to the police station to check if there's any charge uh, from the emails that I received looks like they haven't read yet. But anyway, we prepare for the worst. Uh, I think I have to go into political, whether the rest of me or not, I think I'm not very concerned about it. ISM must go. Arrest people without trial is not the main way. It should be fair. It should not happen in a civilized country like Malaysia. If you want to call a country, a civilized country, you want to arrest anybody, please charge him in the open court. This is how we should deal with things in a civilized manner. And the treatment we received two weeks ago here in MPJ, this, this was not a humane way, a civilized way to treat every mankind in this world in the first century. You were arrested, and in particular my case, I was arrested uh, without being informed about the charge against me under which sections. I don't even know the police officer who grabbed, who, who grabbed me from behind. I thank uh, the Malaysian TV reporters, Shukri, for having uh, uh, shot actually uh, the whole process of how I was arrested two weeks ago. It was in a, it was in a, it was in a, it's now in the Malaysian TV. Although it was, it was being temp, it was tempered, but I think the portion where uh, I was arrested was quite clear and uh, you all can go to the internet and watch it for yourself how the whole episode uh, took place. So anyway, uh, thank you to everybody for attending. As I said in the previous video, we hope the number can grow and, to a certain, to a, and my, my mind dream, my hope is that it can grow to a number that will, that will that's big enough that everybody who passed by Jalan Yom will be able to see our numbers and if we achieve that, that will be the day ISA will go. Thank you.